The Acoustimeter AM10 is an easy-to-operate, far-field broadband RF meter designed to measure radio frequency and microwave radiation from 200 MHz to 8,000 MHz, or 8 GHz. The values displayed are the sum of all the sources within the frequency range of the meter. This frequency range covers the radiation emitted by all cordless phones, cell phones, baby monitors, Bluetooth devices, the upper and lower Wi-Fi bands, smart meters, cell phone towers, and more. The meter displays the peak RF signal strength in volts per meter and the average RF power density in microwatts per square meter. Included in the box is the meter with two AA batteries installed, the operating manual, and a soft carrying case. The acoustimeter is sensitive down to 0.02 volts per meter and up to 6 volts per meter. The meter's adjustable audio tone replicates the signal patterns and intensity of measured RF emissions, which aids in source identification. Its audio output jack, shown here, allows the unit to be connected to a sound recorder or headphones if needed. To begin measuring, power the unit on and adjust the volume of the sound as required here. Slowly scan an area for the highest reading. Be sure to move the meter in all directions while scanning and keep the meter at least 30 centimeters or one foot from your body. The highest readings are often found when holding the meter facing you at a 45 degree angle as shown. The LED graphs allow for a quick reading. Use only the peak scale on the left when considering the biological effects of microwave radiation. This peak scale is color-coded with the following criteria in mind. Readings in the green range of 0.02 to 0.05 volts per meter are generally tolerated by electrosensitive people. Readings in the yellow range of 0.07 to 0.3 volts per meter can affect some electrosensitive people. And readings in the red range of 0.5 to 6 volts per meter are generally too high for electrosensitive people. For greater detail, the acoustimeter LCD displays the following information as shown. The maximum peak level is shown here. This maximum value is held until the power is turned off. The current peak level is here. And the current average level is shown here. The average scale is provided as a reference to industry standards that consider only average power levels and their thermal or heating effects on tissue. The reality of modern high-speed digital services is that the peak power levels are much higher. Once you have determined the highest peak reading, compare it to the latest building biology guidelines. Currently, SBM 2008 is the most recent building biology standard. A reasonable goal after mitigation would be to have levels reduced to the slight concern level in microwatts per square meter, as shown. The acoustimeter's volts per meter peak scale can quickly be converted to microwatts per square meter by reading the corresponding value on the meter's scale to the right. For example, a peak reading of 0.7 volts per meter would equal a peak reading of 1,000 microwatts per square meter. You can also use this conversion table found on the Safe Living Technologies website to convert your readings to microwatts per square meter. For more detailed information about the Acoustimeter AM10 and examples of common sound sources of microwave radiation, please visit the Safe Living Technologies website at slt.co.